everyone in year two. So today it's Friday the 12th of June and it's finally time for us to write our description of our beast that we've created. Okay, so all learning questions today. Can I write a character description for my beast? So if you can't remember what your beast looks like, go back to Tuesday and have a look at the picture that you drew or the picture that you created by cutting up your parts because that's the beast that you're going to describe today to the mini peas. Okay, in our description then, I want you to include the three tools that we've practiced this week, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, and on Thursday. Can anybody remember what those tools were? Okay. So the tools were, we created some exciting adjectives for our noun phrases, like teeth pulling, blood sucking, arm snapping. The other tool was, we created some expanded noun phrases. So we used adjectives to describe our noun, long, slimy tail. And the third tool that we used was adding the suffix to the end of our root words to create description so that we could create words that helped us to compare our beast to something else. For example, taller. Taller than a tree. We're comparing the beast to a tree. So I want you to have a go at using all of these three tools from your success criteria into your description of the beast. And Miss Burroughs has also given you some sentence starts so some different ways that you could start your sentence. It has, the beast has, it can, the beast can, it is, the beast is. So Miss Burroughs has started your description for you. Don't go into the forest or you might see. So I'm going to choose to use some exciting adjectives in the first sentence of my description. Don't go into the forest or you might see a... How am I going to describe the beast? Let me go back to my learning from earlier in the week. What exciting adjectives did I use? Eye-popping. You might see an eye-popping. And I'm going to use more than one adjective. So what punctuation do I need to put in between my adjectives? A comma, an eye popping, arm snapping. Beast. Okay. I could then continue on. You can continue on writing another sentence with some more of your exciting adjectives from earlier in the week. I'm going to have a go at using an expanded noun phrase now. So I'm going to say, the beast has. I'm thinking back to the expanded noun phrases that I used to describe my beast on Tuesday. I said, the beast has a pointy comma between my adjectives, sparkling toy. Okay, again, I can write some more sentences, including some more expanded noun phrases. But Miss Burroughs is going to move on to now include the final tool in her description using the suffix er to compare my beast to another object. And I'm going to say it is strong. It is stronger. What could I say my beast was stronger than? Let me think what I did in my learning on Thursday. I said it is stronger than metal. Okay, 
Let me check my work. Don't go into the forest or you might see an eye-popping, arm-snapping beast. The beast has pointy sparkle, has a pointy sparkling horn. It is strong. It is stronger than metal. Okay? I hope you enjoy writing your description. Go back to your learning from Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Pull all of those sentences and put them together into your description. Have fun and have a lovely weekend.